This is the Straight Truth Podcast, biblical answers to difficult questions from a Christian worldview. Next question, Pastor, has to do with the lack of pastoral focus, which seems to be pretty prevalent, um, at least what we see in uh, social media these days with pastors. So with the dawn of social media, we often see pastors around the country just sounding off on any and every issue related to something happening in the media or to politics or some new hashtag on Twitter or even things in far off distant countries. And so that's my question here, you know, to what degree should a pastor or even just a ministry leader yeah. for that matter, in his church be commenting on these sort of things? Is that kind of involvement, uh, especially if it's excessive, at least excessive maybe from my standpoint, to what point is that a distraction from his ministry yeah. and his responsibility to the local church? Or maybe on the flip side, does a pastor bear a kind of responsibility to speak about out about those things that are happening either in the culture or maybe in his uh, denomination or things along those lines? Yeah, I, th- I think it's um, it's not an easy answer because it's not a yes or no. It, it becomes a matter of judgment. Is there anything wrong with a pastor commenting on the events of the day? Of course not. We're human beings like everybody else. We have viewpoints. We're not taught by Scripture or commanded by Scripture to be silent with respect to opinions about any and everything that everyone else has opinions about. So I don't think we're sinning to have a viewpoint about what's happening in some area of current events. At the same time, we do have a responsibility as shepherds to be a good example to the flock in every realm of life, and that includes our comments about the the events of the day. And I think one of the words that you used that is a really good word to consider is excessive. You know, even, even if our comments are wholesome and good and, and not in any way uh, a stumbling block to others, we do need to ask, what are we concentrating on? You know, uh, on any given day, are, are we focused on the things that we ought to be focused on? And I don't pretend to, to, to be in the place where I can judge my fellow pastors when it's too much or not too much. That's going to be an individual decision on their part. I will say, if I'm being truthful, there are times I look at what goes on in social media and, and, and you see the same names over and over and over again, multiple, multiple times throughout every day. And you just wonder, where is your time for the things that you're really to be giving your life to mm-hmm. versus constant sensitivity and awareness and reactions to everything going on in the world around you? We've talked about this on uh, even on prior podcasts. We, we sort of live our lives now with sort of a fake omniscience <laughs> because mm-hmm. social media brings you into what's happening in the world, all over the world, right. every moment of every day. Mm-hmm. And, and we just are not meant to live that way as human beings, I'm, I'm convinced. You go back to, to the time before the internet and social media, how do people live their lives? They weren't constantly aware of what was happening in Russia or Ukraine or you know name it. They got that information at, at, through a newspaper or through conversation around the community with someone else being informed by the radio or a newspaper. It wasn't, it wasn't in the palm of your hand with your mind, your thoughts, your, your uh, concerns, constantly being tugged by what was happening in the world. So if I had any advice for fellow pastors, it would be not that you can't comment not that in some cases even we should not comment, like as you mentioned, issues going on in the denomination we were a part of or whatever, it's fine to, to give uh, your viewpoint there. But are you in tune with and focused on and immersed in the local church that God has called you to give your life to? That's our calling. You and I have talked about it even on, again on prior podcasts. We don't shepherd the world. Mm-hmm. We don't shepherd any other church. We are called to be shepherds in this church. This is the flock that the Lord has placed us in, and so this is to be our main concern. I think about 1 Peter 5. Peter writes, So I exhort the elders among you as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that's going to be revealed, shepherd the flock of God. And then he adds, Peter adds these words, that is among you. (laughs) Hmm. Shepherd the flock of God that is among you. Right there, where you are, shepherd those people. 
And Josh, that's, that's to be our focus. Mm-hmm. The flock God has placed us in, this congregation for us, you know, it is Founders Baptist Church. There, it's not, even this podcast represents our awareness that if we can be of some help to someone else in some other place in the world, to some small degree, advancing the gospel, glorifying Christ, then let us do that, but not in a way that distracts us mm-hmm. from our primary calling and obligation. Mm-hmm. So we do something like this that extends beyond the life of our church. Our own members benefit from this as well, by the way. Sure. Mm-hmm. So this is not just for people outside our church. Mm-hmm. This is our uh, forum for talking about practical things in a way that hopefully is helpful to people inside our congregation and outside of it, if the Lord should please to use it that way, be pleased to use it that way, but not in a way that distracts us from shepherding the flock of God that is here. And that's, that's my bit of advice for fellow shepherds, is don't get distracted to where you're some sort of uh, full-time commentator on everything that's going on in the world. That's not your calling if you're a pastor. Mm-hmm. Give your life to your church. Mm-hmm. That's your calling. So other than, if, if, there, if there is a pastor out there that is given to this sort of commenting, and uh, other than it being a distraction from his primary calling, what does that actually do to that pastor over time? And, and then also on the congregational side, if you are part of a church in which your pastor, or, or maybe it's not even pastor, associate, associate pastor, yeah. myself, is, is just constantly commenting on these things and giving themselves to that sort of, um, that, I don't know, that sort of life um, online is what it is today. What does that do to the congregation? That's a fantastic question because I actually think it does have an, uh, an effect on both. For the man himself, you become, it's, it's like your antennas are, are constantly up. I'm not talking about discernment now. I'm talking about being agitated mm-hmm. or bothered mm-hmm. or distracted. I think it produces that in the man. He becomes this sort of person that is, is constantly being pulled around by what's going on around him. And we're not to be men like that. We're to be men characterized by steadiness. Uh, even a quietness, I think, characterizes faithful ministry. Mm. You know, the farming an- analogy used in the New Testament is so instructive to that end. Yeah. You know, you're, you're the farmer who's plowing and sowing seed and waiting on the Lord's blessing with respect to the rain and the sunshine. That's a quiet kind of life. Mm. Believers are exhorted in the New Testament to be characterized by quiet yeah. work. You know, putting your hand to the to the plow, living a quiet mm-hmm. life, minding uh, your own affairs, minding your own affairs, isn't it? Yeah, one hundred percent. Men of God are not to be pugnacious fighters. Mm-hmm. So, so I think the the danger for the man himself is to turn into this fighter who's always fighting something, and and a love of of controversy that actually it, it could even be non you know not perceived by the man himself, but it's actually self exalting. Because yeah. now it matters Total what attention. you think mm-hmm. about everything that's going mm-hmm. on. You know, your mm-hmm. voice matters. Yeah. Your perspective matters. Yeah. And so you, you end up loving controversy in a way that exalts you. Now, the danger for the congregation, you produce the same sort of people. Yep. Because that's yep. the influence you have on them. Point. And I've even seen it, Josh, where congregations become self-devouring. Mm. Because now it's not just everything that could bother you out there. Now it turns into everything that could bother you in here, mm-hmm. in the life of your church, and you become very critical of one another, and there's no graciousness or patience or, or uh, room for differences among us. This, this high alert, high sensitivity, high agitation in the man himself and then in the people that he influences, that's the danger mm-hmm. or one of the dangers. Thanks again for joining us for this episode of the Straight Truth Podcast. Now, Straight Truth is listener supported. So if you'd like to find out ways how you can help us to continue to produce this podcast, you can go to our website and find out ways to do that, straighttruth.net. At that website, you'll also find links to all of our previous episodes and our social media channels, so be sure to check it out. Straight Truth is a production of Walking in Grace Ministries, the preaching and teaching ministry of Pastor Richard Caldwell. For more information, go to walkingingrace.org.